end. This is no bueno. This is this is this is no bueno at all. Like this is bad. This is bad, bad stuff that's going on here. No! Oh no! It's inevitable. Um, okay. I think that was just kind of doomed to happen at some point, but we will need to <clears throat> apparently address the problem that is the melting ice. Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to the second episode of Oxygen Not Included. Here's your host, CBT. Alright, so we're going to kind of pick up from where we left off in the last video. and We're just going to go ahead and continue to work on the Ultra Space Prison. We made it up to cycle 10. Uh, we'll see how much further we get. It uh, really just depends on, I guess, how much I want to play tonight as well as record. So we'll go ahead and hop right in, kind of remember where were we, where we were at when we had left. Give this just a moment to load. Okay. All right, so yeah, we were sitting at four people. Uh, we had Lindsay, who uh, had the stressful event and ended up throwing up in our last episode. Uh, we'll see if we can avoid any more of those events out of this one. Uh, but let's go ahead and we will get these guys in motion. Trying to get a refresher as to where we were at. And I have a building entombed. Have to dig that out. That is no good. The battery as well okay so we have some ice falling on stuff but that's okay uh, and yeah if we remember last time uh, when Lindsay oh threw up and did her stress vomiting she just about contaminated our water supply but we kind of got lucky and managed to avoid anything from really going in there and causing a problem with that skim of water that we still have. But I see we have a little spot there, so we'll get that cleaned up real quick. Alright, so uh, next thing I should really do is we should take care of the issue of the food box. And I'm just going to do kind of a trick that I saw that kind of showed you how to create your own vacuum because if you're able to create a vacuum you're basically able to prevent uh, your food from going bad so this is usually a good plan to have and we're gonna definitely need to start digging out this way and I really don't like that polluted oxygen there it's a uh, most likely going to cause a problem, so we will hopefully. I'm pretty sure I am behind on research as well as compared to where I would normally like to be, but we are getting there. So I guess we're going to go ahead and start with this. Get that dug out. Okay, who's stressed? Who is that up there? That would be... Pretty sure that's Marie. Yep, that's Marie. Marie's stressed now. She needs to chill out. Okay, so while Marie chills out, we also are still getting some research done. Uh, we're gonna have to dig those up soon though because that's gonna cause a problem if I can't power up those batteries with the running wheel. No 
then we also got this section that we're digging out. So we're kind of slightly expanding for the moment and uh, soon we'll probably be breaching up into this area. Eventually what I'll do up here, uh, well before I get up there that's a little too far so we'll stop down below but um, is to essentially build like a little gas area where we can have some electrolyzers, uh, turn some of the water into oxygen and hydrogen there, use the hydrogen to help power the base a little bit, or at least get like a self-sustaining circuit going. Okay, doing good so far. Oh, we got that all dug out, good. and providing power to the batteries. Perfect. All right, we can speed this up just a little bit now. All right, still have our hatch right here, pretty much consuming uh, probably mostly that sandstone, but then also providing us a good chunk of coal that we'll be able to use later on for power as well. I uh, will eventually want to move these guys up here. Yay, research complete. All right. Get rid of the notice. Good research. Uh, we need to get liquid piping going next. We're just going to have back to back research going. That's a good chunk of CO2 that is just trapped there. But thankfully, we now have some gas permeable tiles and that will help move some of the air around that we need to get moved such as the carbon dioxide so we can let that pull up more down in that area out of the way so what we're doing now is we're basically building these gas permeable tiles so that way we can start helping some of the air move around like the carbon dioxide let that flow downward uh, while the oxygen floats upward and that's going to be nice. Uh, directly below is that gro uh, the food room, basically. But we got a nice supply of oxygen down there. If I can get some of that to float upwards and start working on getting this pushed down this way and down into the CO2 pit, we'll be good. Um, you know what? We're going to do that as well. We're going to get that queued up because... Thinking about it, that's a vacuum right there, and that could suck a lot of that CO2 into there, creating a bigger area for that CO2 to build up and give my oxygen more room to stay up here and allow that pressure to stay pretty well built up. So I think we might get that going here soon too. Okay, and we're gonna get that built just like that. And thankfully I did it with the dirt on that bottom layer. So that way that sand doesn't just happen to fall down in case they dig everything out below it and then totally ruin what I'm trying to do. Oh, my big concern though is this polluted oxygen that we're getting built in here uh, because I need to keep that trapped so that way I can get a deodorizer to start taking care of that and reducing that down. Uh, so that way that doesn't start leaking throughout the base and making those duplicates sick. Okay, so we seem to be doing pretty good here. Uh, we got some research just getting mobbed away there, trying to get that done as quickly as possible now because um, considering where I'm at in my cycles and how I normally kind of rock the game out, I'm a little bit behind in that aspect and I'd like to get caught up. Uh, but we really do need to get the food situation kind of under control here and to uh, start producing because I'm starting to run low on the food count here. And a new duplicate. I really don't think, can't dig gastro, can't dig, can't cook. Yeah, no thanks, Harold. Uh, Rowan's a slow learner and this guy, Ren, he's a bottomless stomach so he'd kinda contribute to the problem I'm currently facing, so. I'll go ahead and reject for the purpose of conserving some of that food a little bit longer. 
uh, but we will absolutely here soon need to start worrying about uh, getting that uh, ration box moved over as well as uh, we're probably going to need to get a micro musher going so that way we can kind of help expand on the food supply that we do have oh dirt 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 the floating micro musher that would be useless to the entire colony because that was a genius idea <laughs> This thing connected. Yay, research complete. We're gonna hang off before I sign a new one because we gotta get some of this stuff going here. Okay, we're gonna pause because that table's not being used, and I know somebody is getting there. It's Gossman. It's your turn to chill out. And just, I guess, relax and get a massage. Or run to the bathroom. That works too. Because that's usually a great way of relieving stress. Hatch has been pretty busy in there. I haven't really checked to see how that's been affecting. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing good. We got we got enough sandstone and granite, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Just don't want to get in that copper ore. That's the only thing I'm really kind of worried about there. Uh, we're doing good on food. How are we doing on... We're doing decent on algae. We're not having to worry too much about that as of yet. Because we're still up there in the high 30... 3,800 it looks like. Okay, so we're on cycle 14. We're doing pretty good. Uh, people aren't so stressed. I mean, we still get people up there. Like, right now, Marie's just... I don't know what her problem is, but she is freaking out about stuff. I mean, next person is Gossman back down at 25%, which is not bad. So, uh, you know, we're not worried <laughs> too much as Lindsay is just falling asleep trying to dig out the vacuum space that we need for the food box. Uh... Because she's part of that narcoleptic club who's like, oh, I'm just going to pass out. Yeah. Alright, so the hatch is still out and about. I figured he would have found his way over to his little hiding spot. But then again, there's probably a problem with this because he probably needs it to be at least two spaces deep. I am betting, so... Well, he's also not had a way of getting over there. All right, so the food food crisis has uh, appeared to be adverted, uh, pretty much for the most part. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, the only problem right now is that it is still technically in a uh, you know unrefrigerated. Blah, 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 words. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go six on that. And then we're going to deconstruct that so we get that all moved over. So this will take care of the food situation because once they put all the food in the other box, basically, which they just took a big old chunk out there. Finish grabbing the food. Bingo. And then they take out that box, and then that is good to go. Alright, so I might hold off on moving the people upwards because I do see, I do basically have polluted oxygen because we ended up digging this out well before we put the ceiling over the bathroom. As we continue to see, we have some problems with dropping sand all over stuff. Uh, the compost is currently blocked, so. Whoops. Indignious rock. I have really got to start paying attention to what I'm building stuff out of. Um, 
and stop using all the stuff that's hard to dig up and hold your people back for a long period of time. And this is no bueno. This is this is this is no bueno at all. Like this is bad. This is bad, bad stuff that's going on here. No. Oh no. It's inevitable. Um Okay. I think that was just kind of doomed to happen at some point, but we will need to <clears throat> apparently address the problem that is the melting ice. And I think there's only one appropriate response. And that is to create a sandstone. <laughs> Do two of them over there on the other side of the wheeze warts that are helping keep the area cool. Uh, but obviously, because I am used in this area now for my batteries, uh, we are obviously dealing with some problems of some melting ice. So. Now that's contaminated water, which will also have a area of contaminated oxygen start to produce from it. So um, it, it's not going swimmingly, but I mean things could absolutely be worse compared, uh, comparative to things that could be happening. So I, I think we're doing okay. Okay, I'm gonna try this again, and I'm just hoping out of like sheer stupid, stupid luck that it just plays out again to my favor. <laughs> All right, so it, it kind of worked. Not as well as I was hoping for, but I mean, it, it did. It kind of worked. So uh, I'll take it. Uh, we're going to put all liquefiables into that. So all polluted ice, all snow, all ice, just anything that could possibly melt and create that water problem is now going to go in that storage compactor. Um, duplicate. I think, depending on what I get, we'll see. All right, so we have Ada who can't dig it, and that's kind of important still in the stages that I'm in, uh, regardless of the early bird or the interior decorator. So that's going to be a pass. Um, we have a person who can't build and falls asleep, so no thanks, Max. And then we have a yokel, so someone who can't do research, who's also anemic, so their athletics is negative three. Um, I think we're going to have to pass just because... It was a really, really crappy picking of people there. All right, Lindsay, we're not having a repeat of the last episode. You're not doing that again. And then this is just some crazy little idea I'm going to throw together here. But we're going to put a terrarium right there just on the offshoot that somehow that little thing could maybe maybe help out a little bit with the CO2 buildup that's down there. Okay, so Marie's back to being stressed again. Of course, because it's Marie. Who wouldn't be stressed out Marie all the time? So we're going to go ahead and get that going. And as part now, we do need to start concerning ourselves with digging into a bit of a bigger water supply. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to dig down this way, or at least build that way. And then stage two of this operation 
we to dig that out because that sand will drop and give us that little bit of water as well. And we're gonna we're gonna combine those two pockets and put those together. Um, eventually, if we use up enough of this, then we will end up tapping into that water supply as well. So we actually have a good amount of water supply. I'm not too worried about it. All right, research complete. So now we have the upgraded power stuff. So now we can build things like the heavy watt wire, which we will need pretty quickly. Uh, because if you do not have the heavy watt wire, with the amount of stuff that you eventually put on that circuit, you're definitely going to fry it out. Okay, so we're going to get an interior decorator going. Uh, I thought that hatch ate the lice loaf for a second. I was about ready to say, screw it. That hatch has got to die. That hatch is stealing the food, which is not okay. Not one bit. Okay, I guess I should probably prioritize some of this stuff. Uh, we definitely need to get this going, so we're going to prioritize that as a six for right now. We're going to make that kind of like the first thing I want done. As soon as I get that done, um, and you know what, I'll probably X that hatch out soon because there's another one down here I can keep alive. Um, but we're going to get that area dug out because once that's done, then I can also quickly get this section built out for the supercomputer that I'll need for the next level of research. Uh, so that way I can get my sanitation services and other things that we'll need to really keep the colony from being super stressed out. But the problem is now that I have somebody working on converting the mill ice to the lice bars, uh, that's going to take up another person. So we will need a fifth person rather quickly. Uh, especially now that we're getting this area dug out, we'll probably clean that out too. Get that dug out for probably some seeds that are hiding in there, as well as the obvious the algae content. And then down here as well, because that's all copper and coal, which is rather needed kind of as you get going. <laughs> I can't breathe. I know it sucks. You gotta, you gotta dig through all the CO2, guys. You can do it. Hey guys, go get that ladder built. Get down there. Get that all dug out. Quick, quickly, before night. You can do it. stress now. We got, we got Mima starting to freak out next. So, uh, I guess it's time to call Mima out of the trenches for a bit. Bingo. That's exactly what I wanted. Cool. So we got that done. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised though if this section here breaks and then that fills up with water as well. But the next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and dig out this section here. So that way we can get our supercomputer built. And that way, as soon as this decor gets done researching, we'll be able to start getting into a lot of the things that I need to really keep this colony happy. Uh, keep them from, you know, freaking out and wanting to destroy or puke all over the place. Lindsay. Lindsay's never going to live that down. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I mean, we got 30,000 kilocalories. Uh, stress is pretty much manageable now. It's down to 29%. That's Gossman. We'll just go ahead and we'll get Gossman on the table. Let Gossman relax a bit. 
Okay, so we should be getting a duplicate uh, pretty much any time now, because it's every three cycles, so. And hopefully we just don't get, like, the super crap team like we did last time, because that was just horrible, horrible debuffs that really was not going to be helping me out anytime soon. Bingo. New duplicate. Okay, so Abe, slow learner, slow learner, and a mouth breather. So we're going to avoid the mouth breather uh, because they, they do consume more oxygen. Um, and I really don't need that right now. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not really digging the slow learner aspect either. But we really do need one. Iron Gut's kind of something to go with. Just basically saying that he can eat whatever he wants. And basically won't get sick. And he's got good strength. So uh, we're going to go with Hazan. So we'll bring him on in. And then obviously, because now we have a fifth person, we need to... Make sure Hazan has some place to sleep. Okay, so we've been doing pretty good. I'm pretty sure the research is not yet finished on decor, but we are, you know, kind of trucking along as we are, trying to get things done. Uh, we're at the end of cycle 18, so not too bad. Uh, poor Hazan didn't get his bed built in time, though, so he's sleeping on the floor somewhere. Yeah, hey, I have no idea where Hazan passed out, so... Uh, but I'm sure we'll see him once it becomes daylight, and he'll pop out of whatever hole he hid in. Oh, there he was. He was down there. He was asleep by the terrarium. Smart idea. Because then that thing's like spitting out bits of oxygen. You're just like, and good to go. All right, 25% stress. Of course, it's Marie who's the highest stressed again. <laughs> okay, so we're up to... Cycle 19 now. Poor Hazan, his uh, bed's still not built. So he's still pretty much just kind of sleeping on the floor. Uh, wherever he happens to be at that time. Uh, so we're starting to get most of the wire built as well. We're going to try to get that supercomputer built. So that way we can start working on the next level of research. We'll probably have to plant those up here soon. Because uh, we're doing pretty good on the... Uh, edibles here. I think we got it most of it. I mean, a good a good chunk of it's been conduced down. There's still some in there we could do, but I'm not too worried about it. But I'm just gonna let them keep doing that until pretty much we've run out, and then. Um, as that kilocalorie count goes down, then we'll worry about making more food again. And then, in the meantime, I'll be able to power that off, which will save a bit more for the supercomputer as well. Alright, so the micro mushroom's done, converting as much meal ice as that we had for it. Um, so now we'll just turn that off for the time being. That will actually help out with... Uh, powering up the supercomputer because we won't be diverting so much of that power out there to that micro musher. And then definitely the next stage is to probably get another battery storage place going here. Okay, and I ended up digging up the ground, so the wheeze wart's on the ground now. So there's nothing really there to help with uh, producing the cold air in this area anymore. So this area might even start, you know, heating up a little bit as we get more stuff built in here. 
Uh, but I think next thing we might even do here, just to help out, and it will probably just help speed up the process of charging those batteries. But I might even do this here, so. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So that should be um, a bit of an interesting system I just built there. Not really sure if that would work in real life or if that might like short circuit on me with the way that wiring was uh, definitely designed there, but yeah, we'll figure it out as we go, I guess. All right, so let's take a look at the jobs here. Uh, research, I mean, we're still pretty much the same across the board. We're still not gonna do any combat. You guys are not allowed to fight the hatches. Still only one of you really allowed to do art. Which, you know what, honestly, would probably not be a bad thing to work on here, so. <laughs> Statues on each side of the food make the food happy, and then another blank canvas making sure it's out of sandstone and not obsidian. Obsidian picture frame. Okay, so we're going to get that going uh, once they're ready to start building that stuff. And then we'll have our artist of the of the base uh, try to paint us up some pictures and uh, make us some sculptures as well. And we, we shall see how good they are. A new duplicant. Okay, anemic, but... Grease Monkey Interior Decorator, so good at tinkering, good at creativity. I just don't like the anemic factor. Really don't like the narcolep factor either. But very uncultured, does not need the decor. And then dimensionally inept, so can't build, and is also interior decorator. <sighs> you know what? May not necessarily like it. You might be slow as hell. But, uh, Bunnel. Which is a very weird name as well. Welcome to the Ultra Space Prison. Enjoy your stay. Meantime, gotta get you a bed as well. I'll put you there. And you know what? We will also just go ahead and build another one of these. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, we got six duplicates now. Uh, we've actually got our first mediocre sculpture. Pretty proud of that. That should help out with the decor a bit. Maybe, no, uh, maybe not. Maybe not so much so right there. But um, we should be good to get another one of these rounds going. seeds going and <laughs> we have our artist <laughs> which happens to be Lindsay so uh, our person who now had a stressful event 
uh, in our last episode is being an artist by basically shooting a giant paintball gun at the tapestry. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> and we painted the duplicate version of the Mona Lisa. That is some mastery work there with a paintball gun, Lindsay. Hell yeah. Why did you have to suck so much in the first episode? Lindsay redeeming factor right there. Painting the Mona Lisa via paintball gun method. And oh, Marie is not thrilled. Not in the least. <laughs> Super upset about cleaning the toilet there. That is the most, like, pissed look I have seen there. Okay. Uh, what we definitely need to do here, though, is you guys do need to, like, start sweeping up, like, all this crap that's just on the ground. start with pretty much that area there. The living area, and the bathroom area, and the food area. Get all of that cleaned up. Put all that, you know, put it all in the compactors here, guys. Come on now. It's probably also not helping out. Okay, so as we have been sweeping up, uh, I've realized I'm beginning to run out of space in these compactors, so I'm going to have to build some more. Um, as well as I threw a couple more down there, but, um, I think we're going to go ahead and pause here. We did another 12 cycles. Uh, so, and, and we're actually doing pretty good. I mean, you know, oxygen levels are doing decent. Uh, we obviously need to start pumping maybe a bit more through though, just because I have accepted a couple more duplicants and I don't think the, uh, one deoxidizer here, as well as these few, terrariums is really going to be enough to keep the oxygen levels good I mean, even though we got plenty of good oxygen levels around us the the immediate area here is uh, going to be right here in the living space this is already starting to hit that low concentration so we're gonna have to worry about that a little bit uh, temperature wise though we're also doing good uh, this battery right here seems to be heating up a bit more than usual but uh, you know, in in the cold biome, shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Uh, we're, but I mean, essentially, we're doing good there as well. Uh, we got our water pulled together, so we're 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 sitting pretty well. Uh, you know, and we'll we'll see where we want to expand to next. But we'll probably finish cleaning up and everything. But um, definitely appreciate you guys again checking this page. Out, you know, checking out my uh, channel as well as also my Facebook page, the CBT Gaming page on Facebook. Go ahead and give that a like as well. Uh, and help stay in the loop as to when new videos are coming out. Um, basically, at this point, I'm looking to possibly do one weekly. Um, I do have my trip heading back out to Utah coming up. Um, but hopefully, once I get set up and good to go we'll be able to at least give you guys one weekly um i can't really say set day every single week but we will at least try to do one a week um to start out uh and we'll just kind of see how it goes from there um but yeah if you definitely like the video uh, make sure you give that thumbs up a good click and to make sure you're always aware of when a new video comes out make sure to also hit that bell uh, to get those notifications uh, but in the meantime guys uh, thank you for checking in on the CBT, uh, CBT Gaming Channel, and have a good night.